Well, good evening. A great night of hoops ahead, but a reminder for all our Hoops 8 fans, our tournament preview show is just a few days away, Saturday, 7 to 8 here on Channel 8. Make sure to check it out. We'll also share the list of semifinalists for Mr. and Ms. Basketball. You're going to want to check that out Saturday night. Let's get to the hoops tonight. Double A boys, we start out with Portland hosting Bangor. Bulldogs force a turnover. Drew Veyu to Kevin Rugabirwa for the lay-in. Rugabirwa doing damage with the defense. The steal. And he finishes, he had 11 of his 17 in the second quarter. Ryan Ford the other way, taking it to the hoop with authority. The slam, he had 19. Bangor led into the second quarter, but the Bulldogs take over. Jesse Camus inside, he had 8 points, 15 boards, 59-34. Portland the win. All right, elsewhere, we had Everville looking for a road upset at Wyndham. Would they get it? Eli St. Laurent going to the hoop for the basket and the foul. EL up six in the third. Eagles rally, Matthew Searway underneath to Eric Bowen for the two. Then Bowen kicks out to Searway, another big three. He had a bunch of them tonight. Wyndham takes the lead. EL sticks around, Ding Mei Wen attacks the glass. But moments later, Tyree James finds A.J. Moody for the triple. He had 12, 60 to 56 Wyndham the Eagles and the regular season with 16 wins. Oxford Hills visiting Lewiston in a double A North showdown. Caden Boone ending the third. He called glass. Count it. Lewiston up by six. Brady Delamater, the three for Oxford Hills. They climb back in it in the fourth. They would later pull within two. But Lewiston answers. Lonnie Thomas, the nice feed to Abdiraham Dakani. And then Boone later a huge hoop to seal it. 56-51 Lewiston. Looks like that'll be a matchup in the quarterfinals next week. All right, Deering visiting Sanford. Spartans up six in the third. Tanner McCann in the corner. Drills the three. Then Dylan Gendry with the steal in transition. And he's going to find Makai Bougie for the lay-in. Rams trying to rally. It would be Justin Jamal. Crossing cats. The crossover king gets the finish inside. A sweet one. But Deering has to press. And Sanford breaks it. Gendry to Brady Adams. 58-49 Sanford with the victory. South Portland hosting Bonnie Eagle tonight. Manny Hidalgo. Doing some damage, drives, hits the pull-up. Red Riot's up seven in the fourth. The Scots rally. Terrell Edwards to Brody Taylor. One eagle down, just one. Carmine Susie the other way. Counters with the three. Red Riot's push the lead to seven. Scots try and rally again. Colin Moran, he hits the three. But Hidalgo was the answer tonight. He had 19, the sweet floater here. 60 to 52 South Portland with the win. Now in this final week of the regular season, it's senior night in gyms across the state. At Cape Elizabeth, a special opportunity to honor a player who hasn't had the opportunity to play this year. That would be Andrew, or Caper senior Andrew Peruzzi. They found a bump in his head last winter, later determined to be cancer. Spent the entire year battling to try and get on the court tonight, and he would for senior night. And he would get some playing action with his senior buddies. Some of those senior buddies getting in the scoring column tonight against Poland. J.J. Schultz from NBA range. And then Alex Van Heisty, the corner three. Now, Peruzzi would get back in the game in the fourth quarter, and he'd end up scoring four points. Quite a senior debut for the young man from Cape. 65-43, Cape Elizabeth over Poland. Falmouth ranked second in Southern A, hosting fourth-ranked Freeport tonight. Chris Simons doing what he does, attacking the glass. The putback, he had 16. Other way. JT Pound inside, he had 11 for the Falcons, but Falmouth was in total command late. Billy Burks gets the putback, he had 13. Then Alex Finlay in the corner, 56-30 Falmouth. Dave Halligan getting closer to 600 wins. Really visiting Bitterford tonight. Rangers up by five in the second. They put some distance between themselves and the Tigers. Off the miss, Kate Ippolito, the putback, he had 13. Then Logan Vergara, the nice floater, he had 13 as well. 58-48 Greeley with the victory. All right, fired up for some hoops tonight in Kennebunk. Rams up two over Marshwood late in the first half when Cole Perkins goes to work. The scoop inside, he had 13. Then Gavin McDonald running the break, finds Perkins for another basket. Later on, the run continues. Sammy Murray working the glass. Boardman gets paid. 68-39 Kennebunk, they're 11 and 6. Gray to Gloucester hosting Freiburg. Gray coming off the loss last night. They would snap their 15-game winning streak. John Patno, the tough drive down the middle for the Patriots. Other way, it's Boone Douglas inside for Freiburg. Freiburg up four at the half looking for the upset. But the Pats respond in the second half. 
It's Carter Libby chasing down the loose ball for two. And then Nate Hebert, a big night tonight, hits the three. He went over 1,000 in his career, 70 to 50. Gray with a comeback win. Spruce Mountain traveling to Winthrop to take on the Ramblers. Phoenix get cooking in the end of the, at the end of the second. Ian York inside and one. Then Kai Doer working baseline for the bucket. Doer doing it with the passing game too. The nice skip to York who hits the three. 69-37 Spruce Mountain. They snap a three-game losing streak. Northern A action. Lawrence at Brewer tonight. Gavin Lunt finding Z uh, Dane Zawistowski for two, and Lawrence has the lead in the third. Another great Lawrence feed, Cole Kirian to Zeb Hanna for the basket. 69-58 Lawrence with the win. Biggest game of the night was a big one in Northern B. Defending state champ Orno, Orno facing Old Town at the pit. Pierce Walston the lane for Orno. Old Town had a lead, but all of a sudden, Ben Francis goes off. Orno ends the game on a 17-6 run to beat their rivals 59-48. It is also Banner Week at Maine High Schools as the 17 Maine Basketball Hall of Fame inductees will have their names on banners and across gyms in the state. We had a banner sighting in Brunswick tonight as Todd Hansen and Joanne Palumbo McCauley's banner was hung in the Brunswick gym. As there was a great matchup in the girls battle between Brunswick and Mount Ararat. Brunswick the top seed coming into the night. Lexi Morin to Dakota Shipley for the basket. End of the half, Mount Ararat's well, we're playing the roulette game. Here we go. We're back at Mount Ararat. Pick up the action in this one. As I said, it's Lexi Moran to Jordan Shipley, or Dakota Shipley, that is. Basket for the Dragons. End of the half, Jenna Jensen hits the three. Eagles find themselves down 21-20 at the break. In the third, it's Shipley again attacking. She had 18. Mount Ararat steps up the D. Callie Palmerwell, big game for her. The steal and the Eagles take the lead in the third. Later in the third, Avery Beal drains the three and Mount Ararat with the momentum. Palmerwell would hit a dagger late in the fourth to push the lead to five and Mount Ararat with a 41-36 win over Brunswick and they move into the top spot on the heel points as they beat number one Brunswick. All right, Marshall trying to hold on to the final playoff spot in A South hosting Kenny Buck. Kenzie Cunningham drops the triple for the Rams to start the game. Here come the Hawks on the break. Abby Asbury, the captain, she would float it in. And a little bit later, the freshman Isabel Tice hits the three. She had 21, 65, 37. Marshwood with the win at home. Let's go back to Wyndham. The Eagles hosting Edward Little. Marley Jarvis going inside to Stella Jarvis for the hoop and the harm. Wyndham up by seven in the fourth. Then later, Jarvis again, another hoop and a foul. She had a game high 21. Red Eddie's tried to rally, but Wyndham holds on for the 34 to 27 win. All right, Deering girls on the road at Greeley pick up the action in the fourth. Natalie Santiago for three. She had a big game, 25 points, Deering by 15. A quick Greeley run. Asia Kelman hits the three. She had 12, but Deering responds. Santiago, the dish to Sophie Hill for two. 46 to 34, Deering with the win. All right, Portland girls looking to upset Bangor. Avery Clark for the Bulldogs splits the defenders. And Bangor's lead is up to six early on. Portland would stick around in the first quarter. Ina Salari working inside for the hoop. Then Hannah Hawks hits the baseline jumper, but Bangor would go on a big run to end the game, and they win it 44 to 17. That right there, hoops eight for this night. Tournament show Saturday night. More total coverage after this.